Hey, I hope you are doing well. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for my updated landing page workflow that I have been using lately for building end projects. And honestly, it hasn't changed at all since the past year. Uh, I mean, there are a few tweaks, but uh, nothing major. It's just that models have become a lot smarter. These tools have become a lot better. And that is why my landing page quality has also become a lot better. So this is the landing page that I shared. And a lot of you guys were asking me that how I built it. Literally, I mean, I built this inside livable completely and took me like 10 to 15 minutes maximum. Let it load. And as you can see, pretty decent landing page. Nothing fancy, but more than enough for your MVP. So let me take you through it. This has this cool looking, uh, you know, feature section. Then we have this your financial content with this uh, AI generated dashboard for now and so on. Another one is this one with this uh, AI avatar. So if I go down, you would be able to see this Bento grid of the features. I'll scroll animations here. This cool looking grid of different athletes that we have and so on. So before we dive into the workflow, I first want to talk to you guys about something really important. And today we even have this presentation ready. So let's talk about build your MVP landing page without Figma, a practical guide to shipping fast and piloting. Work. So I have seen a lot of beginners make this mistake. And that is why I wanted to cover this first before we dive into the workflow. Okay. So why our MVP landing page doesn't need Figma? Most people over design before validating anything. So, okay, hear me out. If you are building an idea that only you care about right now, and still you are hiring designers, you know, who uses Figma, who are perfecting each and every inch of a landing page. You don't need that right now. If you're the only one who cared about the idea, all you need to do is follow this book I'm going to show you and get your landing page in the next one hour max to max. It is more than enough for you to validate your idea. Figma plus designers make sense only after traction. For your first 10 to 100 users, speed is over perfection any single day. Over complicated workflows slow you down. This is the truth. I mean, you will, you must have seen all of these fancy workflows. Even I have been showing a workflow where I build these cool looking animated uh, landing pages. Let me show you that on my Twitter. One second. Uh, and honestly, this all did not take me much time. That was like 15 to 20 minutes max to max. Where is it? Where is it? This went viral lately. Is there? Okay, so this one. You will be able to see that this is a pretty cool looking hero section that I built inside Cursor in like 10 to 15 minutes only. As you can see, you know, whenever I scroll down this entire keyboard, this is assembles itself and you will be able to see this beautiful looking animation. And I have also shared its workflow. So feel free to check it out. But yes, in the beginning, if you're building an MVP, don't spend this amount of time, uh, you know, on your landing page, you don't even need to overcomplicate it this much. Okay. Just stick to the workflow that I'm showing you today. And once you start getting user then you can switch to that one second. Uh, okay. So the goal, the, okay. So the goal is to ship and test, not impress designers. Okay. Your users don't care that much about a landing page. And what I showed you before that is more than enough. Okay. So now let's start with the workflow. You have to start with visual inspiration and not prompts. This is very, very important. Go to dribble and find a landing page that you like. Match the vibe, color palette, and layout structure. Screenshot the design instead of describing it. Visual references beat long text prompts. This and most guesswork for the AI. Uh, providing AI with screenshot is the best way for you to let it know that what exactly you are looking for. So let me show you how you can do that. So you can just go to Dribble and here you can look for, let's say, uh, you know, SaaS landing page. And then you can just scroll through all of the designs and like, and you know, just screenshot the one that you like. You will be able to see that there, here we have so many beautiful looking designs and these are designed by, uh, you know, great, great designers. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel at all. Just go to any landing page that you like, screenshot and then take that in custom GPT snap prompt. I'll show you that in a while. Uh, yeah, I uh, actually, I just realized that I was recording the video and I had already, you know, started showing you how I was building the landing page, but that part did not get recorded. But basically I took the screenshot of this particular website. So this is an recruitment and hiring platform website UI which design. And then I took that into snap prompt. So if you don't know what snap prompt is, this is a custom GPT that I launched last year. So basically you take any design, you put that into it and then you prompted that what exactly you are trying to build. So as you will be able to see, I just put that screenshot. I said, I am building Ignite Labs, a company for recruiting AI for developers for firms. And that is it. It went ahead and give me the entire project summary and the prompt that you will be using in the next step inside Nevable. So as you can see, we have the design system, typography, spacing and layout, border and radius. We have the page structure, the nav bar, hero section, recruiter match preview, etc. The component specs. What you have to do is you can just go through it. And if you don't like anything, you can update it. But usually I have seen this first prompt is more than enough for you to get started. Now, once this is done, let's move to the next step. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the next step, like I said, is turn the screenshot into a proper build prompt. 
upload a screenshot to snap prompt my custom gpt the link of which you will find uh, below in the description briefly explain a product and brand we already did that let the gpt generate a detailed prompt this award generic ai looking layouts and then just paste the prompt plus screenshot into lovable so now let me show you how exactly i did that you will be able to see that the first uh, uh, with the with just a single prompt, we were able to generate this looking landing page. Pretty cool. And let me show you. I just took that exact prompt from Snap Prompt. You will be able to see we are building the Night Labs marketing marketing landing page. And where is it? And I just pasted it. And along with that, I pasted the screenshot. Make sure in the beginning you have the chat mode on. If you don't know what I mean by that, let me open Lovable once and let me show you. Okay, so make sure that this button is turned blue. And then you have to paste the prompt here along with the screenshot that you took. And that is it. Just click on enter. Once you do that, Lovable will start going through your prompt. And then it will start asking you some questions. So let me show you the ask uh, questions that it asked me. So it asked me, should this be a single page landing page with anchor scroll navigation? Or do you need separate pages? I wanted a single page, so I did that. I told it that I need only the UI, not a backend. And this is the question that Lovable asked me. I did not, you know, prompt it uh, differently. For the dashboard mockup and product preview shown in the reference, should this, these be static visual cards or animated? I just said keep, keep it uh, minimal because else it does that, you know, overly done scroll animations which don't look good at all. And that is why I just stuck to the minimal thing. And that is it. I just asked it to then, you know, uh, uh, it then went ahead and created the plan. So as you can see, here's my proposed plan. If you want, you can review it. Uh, and then once more, I just asked it to make sure I just attached the screenshot again and said, yes, the plan sounds good. Just make sure you refer to the attached image too, along with the plan. And that is it. With just a single prompt, it was able to generate this landing page for me. So let me open it in a full screen. Let's give it a minute. Okay. So as you can see, this is the landing page. We don't have any scroll animations right now because I asked it to keep it still. So this is the hero section request introduction, request introduction. Uh, looks pretty good. How it works, book a demo as you will be able to see. It did a pretty good job on the first prompt itself, right? This part, see, it copied this part from here. You will be able to see that we have this, right? So it was able to even replicate that with just a single prompt. Oh, one second. Okay, so let's scroll down. Okay, so we have trusted partner, Cloudly, Apply, Camera, Startup, etc. Why trusted Night Labs for better hires? Pretty cool looking section. Uh, this entire page is also good looking. Okay, now we even have something in the dark theme. Didn't we have that inside the main page? Okay, as you will be able to see, supercharged recruiting career. And this was also done in this dark theme. So it replicated that. And uh, we now have this in the dark theme. Recruit, review, match, hire, simple. These are the steps. And this is the footer. As you will as we'll be able to see, Lovable did such an amazing job at the first try only. And honestly, this is fine. If you're building an MVP, you can just proceed and then just use this exact landing page. But still, I want to show you how you can refine it to look even better. So let's get to the next step. Okay, the so next step is upgrade the page using real components. The first level output is correct, but generic, not really generic. Honestly, I mean, I thought that it would be generic, but it did a pretty good job. Now you want, now what you have to do is you have to go to 21st.dev for modern UI components. Start with the hero section first. Copy the component prompt and replace these sections. Repeat for features, pricing and testimonials and as many sections as you want. And honestly, guys, I mean, these people, the 21st dev guys have done a pretty good job in creating these components for your landing page. People behind 21st dev are designers and uh, developers and it's their job to keep, keep track of all of the latest design trends and stuff. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And that is why just go to 21st dev. There are other alternatives as well, like Acer Unity UI. I think both of them work together now or something. We also have magic UI. There are a lot of component libraries, but this is something that I always use. Just go ahead and click on hero components. Let me search hero components one minute and let's see what results it's given. Okay. So as you can see, we have a lot of hero sections that we can use in our landing page. Oh, this one looks good, but yeah, obviously I won't use it, but, but yeah, pretty good looking. Okay. So always keep it simple. So this is something that a lot of people who build SaaS use as you will be able to see, right? Uh, if I click on it, you will be able to see that we have this uh, dashboard on the bottom, some text at the top and so on. Looks pretty good. Let me choose one for us. Okay. So I think that I, I like this one. So once you have finalized the hero section or any other section that you are building, just click on copy prompt and that should be enough. Go inside lovable, click on visual edits, select the section that you want to replace. So right now I want to, you know, replace this particular section and then just prompt it like this. I want you to replace the currently selected section with the below, but make sure that the vibe and theme of this new updated section matches the vibe and theme of rest of the landing page. And that is it. I just copy pasted the prompt that we took and let's click on enter. Other thing that I think that we could make better is this section. I can 
ask it to give this a horizontal infinite scroll so basically you would have seen in landing pages right that how these logos are always scrolling towards the left in an infinite scroll so we can add that as well that is going to be my next prompt <laughs> and i mean that is pretty much it i mean if you don't like this section just go into 21st dev look a section that would make sense for you to replace here so let me just search for features and here it will show you all of the components that it has for feature section so as you can see these look pretty cool right so just copy the prompt go inside lovable select that particular section and paste this prompt and prompt lovable ones that make sure that the vibe and theme is the same as the rest of the landing page and that should be more than enough okay so as you can see it did a pretty good job of replacing our previous hero section with the newer hero section later on obviously this does not make much sense in this case because this is more for a sas dashboard uh, for a sas platform but it looks pretty cool right and you just have to do this for each and every section go on and keep on replacing it let me also show you how i would have converted this into an infinite scroll could you please turn the currently selected element into an infinite horizontal scroll so that all of the logos inside it move in an infinite horizontal just said anything that came to my mind don't have to over complicate it and let's click on enter let's see how it works okay still it is working let's move to the next steps i also have one or two steps i think that would really help you in taking your landing page to the next level okay so this is done next is add final polish and set design direction generate visual using uh, generate visuals using idogra or nano banana pro remove backgrounds and clean up the hero section spend 15 to 20 minutes total not more lovable learns your design vibe from this page future screens and dashboard comes out better okay so this does not make much sense but let me explain what i exactly want to say so i showed you that uh, hero avatar right where i had that ai generated image so let me show you that once again let me go to lovable in the meantime you can see that how it was able to build that infinite horizontal scroll for us using the logo so pretty cool. okay so let me show you what exactly i'm talking about okay so this is the avatar that i'm talking about so let's say you want to now take your landing page to the next level start adding ai generated images the image models have become a lot better as compared to before and this is like last year january and still there and even then it did a pretty good job in creating this hero image for me what i did is i just went to you know a ribbon and uh, i just looked for some avatars that would look good on my page so let's say i want the image right i will just screenshot it i'll go to chat gpt you can open up a new chat but i'm not doing that right now and you can then just ask it to generate a similar looking image or you can take this image inside chat gpt ask it to give you a detailed prompt and then take that prompt inside idogram as all of the ai image models are doing a good job nowadays so you can just chat gpt and keep it simple as well as cheap and once you have the uh, image generated just go inside lovable you will know this click on visual edit select the section that you want to replace and then just attach the image so for example let me change the image here so yesterday i was working on this uh, uh, sas landing page so i'll just use that it for now okay so i just uploaded the image that i wanted to use now could you please replace the selected image with the image that i have attached and that is it pretty simple right click on enter and it will go ahead and replace this image with the image that you uploaded this particular website what i did was i just added uh, you know the athlete and then i removed the background from it inside canva and then i just asked lovable to add this image uh, image on the hero section and that is it nothing complicated let me go to the lovable website and it is still editing it so let me show you what it will do okay and the thing that i said here is lovable learns your design vibe from this page what i meant to say was focus on a landing page make sure that you like the vibe and theme and once you are happy with the landing page only then proceed with making the rest of the uh, ui ux of an entire platform because now it will have something to refer to it will know exactly the vibe and theme that you want to use and this new feature you know the design feature from lovable we have themes so it creates themes for you on the basis of the landing page that you have so for example right now it has created this current theme for me i can even change it for future so like the default one the glacier one howest etc so this makes sure that your entire ui ux is consistent with the landing page so that is why i spend the amount of time not good amount of time max to max and are on polishing a landing page and once you are happy with it only then proceed with building the entire ui ux now if you don't know how to build the rest of it ui ux i am currently you know recording a free course on how you can go from a from planning inside chat gpt to actually shipping the product so that is coming up really really soon but uh, yeah for now just go ahead and you know prompt people to create a dashboard using the same web and theme 
like the landing page and that should be more than enough and yeah as you can see it was able to update the image on the hero section looks pretty cool this image was also generated inside ideogram or chat gpt i don't remember but yeah so let me show you the landing page one final time so this is the hero section looks pretty cool this is also a section this is the infinite scroll that we added and so on right looks pretty pretty cool and like I said, keep that in mind. You don't have to overcomplicate this phase. If you are the only person who cares about your idea right now, just follow this workflow. Don't overcomplicate it. Okay, so the summary is don't overdesign before validation. Start with visuals, not ROM. So like I said, go to Dribble and get a suite of the website that you like and that input that inside Lovable. Let AI handle layout. You guide the taste. That is true. Use real components to avoid AI look. By components, I mean components that we found in 21st.dev. Ship fast and refine later. So yes, guys, I mean, pretty much it. There's nothing to cover. And this is the exact workflow that I have been using for personal projects as well as for client MVPs that I built. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.